Long before Dylan Dennis was an infamous social media personality or an undefeated MMA fighter, his jiu-jitsu and skills on the mat spoke on his behalf and the grappling world had very high expectations of what would become of the Marcelo Garcia prodigy. In one of his first matches at Black Belt, he competed against MMA veteran Joe Lozon in a no-gi grappling match. Lozon was known worldwide for his slick ground skills and huge heart, and Dylan, looking to make a name for himself, came out guns blazing in their encounter. Using leg lock exchanges to set up scrambles, several front headlock and guillotine attacks, back takes and more, Dylan's path to victory came from a fairly simple technique combination of knee cut to darse choke. In this week's Balea's BGJ Breakdown, I'm going to take a closer look at how Dylan was able to submit Joe Lozon from their match at Metamoris. The exchange began from a scramble where Dylan was looking to pass. As Lozon was known to have a fairly aggressive leg lock game of his own, Dylan first forced Lozon to his back to avoid establishing grips and connection, and also to provide Dylan with the optimal angle for the knee cut. As you can see here, Dylan steps forward and to the left, attempting to drop his knee over Joe's hamstring and through his leg. But as Dylan does not fully cut through the position, he decides to rotate clockwise on top, giving him better access to Joe's head and arm, and also baiting Joe to attempt an underhook, which would allow him access to the dar stroke. Now, as his position is set, he punches his right arm underneath Joe's left arm and cups the back of Joe's head. Then he grabs his own bicep and grips it like a rear naked choke to secure the lock. After the initial catch, Dylan adjusts the position by turning on his side and pulls Joe's head forward to allow for a stronger bite on the choke. He then turns to his side to follow up with the squeezing pressure towards Joe, but as Joe gets to his knees, Dylan anchors his body by hooking his leg on Joe's back. This prevents Joe from making space to escape and also allows Dylan to add additional weighted pressure to the choke. Let's watch it again. Pushes Joe to his back, knee slide attempt, rotates clockwise to punch the arm through, readjusts the grip, hooks the leg, and gets the tap. Make no mistake about it, there are levels to the jiu-jitsu game, and Dylan's is high, especially in comparison to other MMA fighters and even YouTubers.